Costume jewelry is probably right up there when the top three items that we sell. Costume jewelry is hugely collectible. And this book is probably the best book to look up, learn about your costume jewelry. You know, I think we talked once about um, all the different rhinestones and all the different pins and what it means when they're signed. And if we can look at some of these pins, you know, they're in all different shapes depending on the era. But these are probably 50s and 60s, but we've got seahorses and fish. Yeah, fish were big. We've got snails. We've got all these little animals, turtles. Remember, we had owls once. Those were big. But remember I said on the back of them, they're signed. That means that the name of the company is on the back, and the name of the particular company is what denotes the value. A lot of times you find um, costume jewelry that has no name on the back. They call that signed. And here's, here's some of the companies. You know, we talked about Weiss earlier, Adrian, Anne Klein, Christian Dior, Coral Craft. You know, even Avon. If you, Avon still makes jewelry, so you can look at sometimes the backs as Avon, Hobie, all these different names. So if you look in the back, you really want, that's the first thing to learn, Eisen, Eisenberg Ice, which was beautiful rhinestones. They're very valuable now. If you really want to start with your costume jewelry, what you really need to do is take a look at the names of the makers and become familiar with the signatures that they call or the names of the makers that are on the back. See, here, there's just so many different. Trafari, that's a common one. Monet, that's still now. They still make Monet. So that probably in the future will be one that will be very collectible. Sarah Coventry, Napier, um, Hobie, uh, Lido. There are all these different names. So I would really recommend, that's the first thing you want to do, is learn about, if you want to get into the costume, rhinestone, jewelry, type of jewelry, look, you want to find out the marks and signatures that are on the back. And the best way to do that is to get a book like this. And as I told you, you know, you can always look some of this stuff up on the internet, but sometimes you just want to have a book to peruse in your leisure and look at everything compared to everything else, as sometimes you can't do on eBay. Um, so I would recommend this book. It's got, it's got a fabulous assortment of everything from Bakelite to enamelware to cloisonne to rhinestones to pearls. It's got it all. It's got poodles. Oh, remember the squirrels, see? Squirrels are big. Look at them. Squirrels, poodles. How cute. Hedgehogs doesn't get any cuter than that. Monkeys, birds are big. So I highly recommend. This is a great hobby, costume jewelry, and it's still out there. You can still find it at thrift stores. You can find it at garage sales. It's a great, it's a great hobby.